I can't really make any RGB jokes in this video because all the RGB lighting on this mouse is outshining all the puns I tried to write for the video. Hey everyone, Mukul here. I mean, just look at that glow, the vibrance, the LED glory the Ant Esports GM610 throws off itself. There are people who just can't get enough of RGB around them and this mouse will surely catch their eye. Quite honestly, even from a long freaking distance. The lighting is extremely bright and at every angle and even under your palm, you will see a good amount of intense RGB wavelength reflected from it. The lighting is quite uniform throughout the top shelf, but unfortunately kinda dies abruptly on the front. This is the first time I tried a software from Ant Esports and the design looks quite outdated, but it works. Inside it, you can play with the lighting on the mouse with a bunch of presets and inside a few of these presets, you can choose the type and number of colors that you want this mouse to reflect off from it. The software takes a few good seconds to transfer the changes to the mouse though. Some of the animations are pretty nice and some of them have a few nice tricks up their sleeve. The mouse has an ambidextrous design and the shape has been geared more towards being a palm grip mouse. There are 8 buttons on the mouse but 3 of them are hidden on its base. My favorite button was the one that turns off these LEDs completely. So did I just kill the only USB of the mouse? All of these buttons can be customized through the software which is pretty darn good to have in this price segment. To my surprise the build quality is just excellent on the mouse. The white paint finish is top notch and the mouse feels extremely sturdy. The transparent shell on the top has quite sharp edges around it and my ring finger could really notice it as I worked with the mouse which did feel a bit irritating at times. But different people have different kind of hands so this experience might vary. Also the shell on the top is pretty glossy and has an extremely polished feel to it so this might feel different to what most of you are used to. Personally I don't think I can get used to this but I guess this material choice was essential for this sort of RGB bling design the mouse adapts. I have no idea what switches the mouse uses but they feel extremely tactile and have a nice response to them. The scroll wheel is a bit too free for my liking and its speed can be controlled via the software too. The side buttons were quite near to my thumbs placement but I didn't miss hit them during my usage. The cable is super duper light and flexible almost to the point that it feels like a really low quality cable but I'm pretty sure this was quite intentional. The sensor underneath the mouse supports a 1000Hz polling rate which is another impressive factor. The DPI can be adjusted till 12800 but in the multiples of 200. You can also change the mouse sensitivity and other mouse settings here that you typically see in Windows mouse settings options. As usual, I tested the mouse in gaming playing a few Counter Strike death matches and I feel it just performed okay. The switches on the mouse that gave me a solid feel earlier, well they felt like they do need more actuation force than any other typical gaming mouse in this price segment, especially for a fast paced game like this. The mouse is just fine enough for gaming, but this shape and especially the sharp edges around the corners of the top transparent shell, well that kind of weakens any bond that I might have gained with it. So my overall gaming experience uh, ended up being quite average with it. But for regular usage and other typical stuff that we do on our PCs and laptops, uh, the mouse works just fine and I have no complaints about it. So yeah, the mouse definitely has a refreshing new design and has been built really well. But if I have to conclude, then I would say that it's a decent enough mouse for typical day-to-day -day work and that's all. But if your plans are to play fast-paced games, then I really can't recommend it. For other sort of games, you won't have uh, much problems and it's good to see that the software also provides a lot of flexibility to play around with the settings of the mouse. The USB of the mouse is pretty clear and the massive RGB bling on top might lure RGB loving sort of customers through it. I honestly see this sell a lot in the offline market where people can uh, witness the RGB glory and just immediately fall in love with it if they like lights and stuff and if they need a really nice RGB customizable lamp for the next Diwali or so. So if you like the idea of owning this mouse and the video also and want to support my efforts on it then the affiliate links of the mouse will be in the description below if it is there live on Amazon. You can also hop onto a discord server for more love or hatred for such RGB LEDs on peripherals. Uh, we don't judge, you're most welcome. So take care humans, move out without any LEDs on top of his head. So far, out.